Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how to play Green Onions by Booker T and the MGs on electric guitar. The guitar is tuned standard E A D G B E. We're going to start the song with a series of chord strikes, and they'll sound like this. For this part of the tune, we'll be using our ring finger and index finger to play our chords this way. So I'm holding down here a G minor 7 at the 3rd fret, and I'm playing the chord from the D string, like this. I'm striking the chord and pulling off to the 1st fret. And then I'm going to move up to a C minor chord here at fret 8, moving back to a B flat minor chord, like this. And the last one will be a D minor chord here at the 10th fret, moving back to a C minor chord at the 8th fret, or C minor 7. That's D minor 7. C minor 7, like this. Okay, so the whole thing is like this. One, two, three, four. The next part we'll learn are the rhythm riffs. We're going to go to an F here at the first fret on the low E string, A flat, fourth fret on the low E string, and then B flat, A string, first fret, and we'll play this. Now this is the same riff that we'll play throughout, we'll just be moving it around. We're going to mute the strings with the palm so that we get this sound right there kind of a pecking sound we'll play it this way and we'll move to the A and D string and do the same thing and then back to the low E string move to the third fret and go from the third fret to the sixth fret and then back to the third fret like this. Just do that once and then down to B flat and then back to the low E string. let's get to the solo parts. Our solo is going to sound like this. Now 
what we'll be doing is playing a series of short riffs. Here's our first one. Now what I'm doing is taking two fingers and placing them on the second and third fret. The reason I'm doing that is so I have more control over the string bend. You're going to have more strength in two fingers than in one. I'm going to place my fingers on the string, strike it, bend it up, bring it back down, and then pull off to fret one. And this is all on the G string. That's our first lick. Next is this one. For that one, I'm doing a double stop on the B and high E string at the first fret, like this. And then I'm going to go back to my G string and bend it up again. And then pull off to the first fret again. So that's. Next, we'll go to the B string and play this. And then sliding back. So I'm going from fret 4 to fret 6 on the B string and doing vibrato. And then sliding back. Here's the next riff. For this riff, we're going to go up to the B string, fret 6, the high E string, fret 4, fret 6 on the high E string, bend it up, come back down, and then pull off to fret 4, like that. Next, we'll drop down to fret 1 and play this. We'll be repeating this riff later, so remember this one. We'll go to the first fret, play a double stop on the B and high E string. Then we'll go to the G string, third fret, strike it and bend it up. Let it down, hit it again, and pull off to fret 1, like that. Next we'll play this. Now that was a double stop on fret 1 on the G and B string and then we're going to do vibrato on the D string 3rd fret. Striking it twice. After that, we'll play this. Now what we did there is we struck the G and B string twice. Then we're going to hammer on to the third fret on the G string, pull off, and then land on the D string third fret. Like that. Next, we'll play this. In order to play that, we're going to go to the G string, third fret, bend it up as we strike it, double stop at fret one on the B and high E string, but we're going to do an up strum on that, so like that. So it's Next, we'll do this. For that one, we're going to the D string, third fret, G string, first fret, third fret, bend it up, pull off to fret one. Next, we'll do this. 
For that one, double stop at the first fret again. G string third fret. First fret. Landing on the D string third fret. And our last one is this one. We play the D string, third fret. We're going to bar the first fret, G and B string, hammer on to the second fret with the middle finger, and then go back to the third fret D string. Strike it twice. Now next, there was one riff that I asked you to remember. That's this one. And we're going to be repeating that one. It'll sound like this. going to repeat that riff here at the first fret. Here's how we play that riff. We do a double stop at the first fret on the B and high E string. Strike the G string third fret. Bend it up. Bring it back down. And pull off to the first fret. Like that. We'll move it up to fret 6 and do the same thing. Go back to the first fret. Then we'll go to fret 8. Fret 6. To end the song, we'll do these riffs. Now the chord I'm striking is a G minor 7 here and I'm striking from the D string down like this. Just getting those middle strings in there. The uh, D string, G string, and B string. We also did the riff that we did earlier. And this one. Striking that chord after each riff. We also did this one, which is where we hit a double stop, went to the 3rd fret G string, and then pulled off to fret 1. Then we went all the way up to fret 13 and did this. And that's an F minor chord there, those three strings. The G, B, high E. And then we went back down and struck our chord again. And that's how we take our song out. Well, that's about it for Green Onions by Booker T and the MGs on electric guitar. Thanks for stopping by.
and have a great day.